What is up guys, Brad back on the channel with a brand new video. Today's video I'm going to be previewing tomorrow's match against bottom of the table Nottingham Forest. Now this has, well, what looks like the foundations of a very, very um, good game, especially on Town's half. Obviously we can't ignore Forest seven games in and only one point to show for it. Obviously meaning they've lost six games, uh, only getting a point against uh, Derby County, their rivals. So yeah, uh, on paper... It should be an out in that uh, we don't really have to get out of out of a second gear for really, but where we all know being in the championship that there's always more to it than that. So yeah, uh, let's get on with the lineup and then we'll do a score prediction after that. So obviously, like I say, Nottingham Forest, a team in complete disarray, just sacked the manager, uh, one that when we've played against, um, we've seen you know how good he can be. In, uh, in Chris Hugh and then uh, obviously in uh, in other times just seeing looking from a neutral perspective how good he's been at other teams you know such as Brighton um, but yeah it just wasn't to be uh, in uh, in, For in Nottingham Forest um, so I mean look sometimes a manager getting sacked is a curse and people you know like myself sometimes do do look into that but f you know we can't really look into it um, We've just got to go into the game, not even thinking about it really, and just you know be as focused and professional as we normally are. And we should, you know, we should be just right. Uh, so the lineup I go with first name always on the team sheet for me is Lee Nichols. Absolutely quality the past couple of games for me. Uh, still yet to make a crucial mistake. Then at right wing back, it's got to be the main man, the man himself, in form, Sorba Thomas, absolute baller. Uh, he's um, he's playing crazy stuff at the minute, so to have him at at right wing back's massive, uh, followed by Pearson in the right centre back, I believe, and then Lee's in the middle, um, or Lee's on the right and Pearson in the middle, um, and then Co uh, Colwell or Sar in the left centre back. I'm not really too bothered either way there. They've both been good, and then a left wing back of Harry Toffolo in the midfield. Though I'd like to see um, uh, the same three that played against Blackpool in Hogg uh, O'Brien. And Danel Sinane, if that was you know how it works, having that free in the middle, and then having uh, Karoma up top alongside Mipo Odubeko, I believe he does deserve his start now. Uh, Ward's not really offering much apart from one goal against Reading, and um, and I believe it's Mipo's time to shine. So yeah, in all honesty, I do think that's a very strong lineup, and you know it will give us the best chance of getting all three points against Forest, and that's what we should be aiming for, really. You know, given our position. Given Forest position, given our team, given Forest team, uh, and everything going on at me, I think you know we've got to be aiming to win this game, especially at home. Uh, Forest will probably come out and try and park the bus. I imagine maybe uh, having you know just had a defensive manager, they'll know defensive stuff. Uh, so they might come out to park the bus and try and get a draw offers, which you know they they could be capable of doing. Uh, we'll just have to see. Time will tell. Um, but yeah, I uh, my prediction for the score. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a goal fest by any means. Cause I do think you know Forest are, are playing for a, a playing to try and you know draw some games probably, and this will be one of them in my honest opinion. I think they'll play to draw, so I'm going to go with a two 0 Town win. Not not as crazy as Blackpool or Reading, but still you know a convincing two 0 win. And I believe Sarber Thomas and Harry Toffolo are going to get the goals for Town. So that is all from me. Later tonight, I will be recording. With a Forest fan uh, called Doron too. If you haven't checked his channel out um, before, then please do. Uh, I'll be recording something with him. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but we'll be uh, we'll be talking about the game. And um, yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, also, I have started a second channel, so if anyone could give me some support on that, it's going to be FIFA content, uh, gaming preferably FIFA. If anyone could give me some support on that, then that would be absolutely massive. Uh, it's a huge step to go, you know make a second channel and I, I want to try and be successful on it and replicate some of what I've achieved on the main channel so yeah if anyone could go subscribe to that go watch the videos and uh, give me some feedback on that then that would be great also anyway guys hope all you staying safe staying um staying um well buzzing obviously with the results um leave a like if you do enjoy this content comment down below if you thought of this video on my prediction and my lineup also uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and also hit notifications to not miss a post if anyone's generous, generous enough to donate, then there is a thank you button also on the video. Uh, so for those who want to do that, 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 that button is available. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and all the other ones. 
and I'll see you tomorrow when we take on Nottingham Forest at home. Cheers, guys. Yeah.